right now. So I did tell y'all I was gonna do a video about these characters, addressing the characters. So I'm gonna be talking more about the story aspect a little bit more on how I really felt about them as a character. Now, first off, Takeda, the son of Kenshi, and the student of Scorpion. Like, should there be anything more said? about those that about this character you feel me really god like character man dope 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 character now why was he here in mk11 i would never know you feel me uh maybe he'll come back to mk12 hopefully we'll see some something better from the uh, the the comeback kids in the next iteration uh but yeah i really enjoyed uh Takeda. Really dope character. I wish they would have explained a little bit more in MKX about Takeda. Uh, now, if you read the comic book, they actually did go a lot more in depth with with his story a little bit more. But, uh, yeah, I just want them to flesh him out a little bit more. But it, I really enjoyed Takeda. Sub-Zero. Oh, shit. The Cryo Master himself. Now, I ain't a lot. Sub-Zero Grandmaster is annoying as fuck. But Sub Zero as a character's cool as shit, man. It's an Ice Ninja. Like, there's no way that you cannot like an Ice Ninja. You feel me? It's like it's like damn near impossible. You feel me? He's the Yang to Scorpion's Yang. So like, Sub is dope. Dope ass character. Cassie Cage. I don't know how I feel about Cassie, cause like I like her in Eleven, but I don't I care less about her in X. Johnny Cage's daughter and uh, Sonya's daughter, uh, I, I guess. Uh, I guess it just don't hit me the same as it hit a lot of people. But uh, I don't know. But I really find her pretty cool in MK Eleven though. Even though like story wise, she took a back seat to Liu Kang in uh in Eleven. But uh, I don't know. Like, how, how do y'all feel about Cassie? Let me know in the comments. Cyrex. Cyrex. Really fucking cool design. Really fucking cool design. Everything, like, a lot of things about Cyrex I like. I just wish he had a little bit more screen time as well. Because, like, me, myself, I'm not really a comic book reader either. Or like, you know what I'm saying? Somebody that try to go read your, your favorite comic books and shit like that. So like, you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, but Cyrex is pretty dope. You know what I'm saying? His, his MK9 iteration of the story was pretty good. Uh, his MKX counterpart, like I said, it was non-existent really. MK11, I mean, he had like, what, one chapter? <laughs> one scene but uh yeah like pretty much same thing just a couple a little bit more shit really but uh, I I like Cyrex Kenshi oh my god I started playing Kenshi back when uh M MK Deadly Alliance came out now that was his, fir his first appearance in that uh in the franchise but uh, what made me play him was the fact that Liu Kang wasn't playable. So, like, I always tried to play the Liu Kang Kung Lao duo in every Mortal Kombat game. But in that particular one, we didn't have Liu Kang. So, I needed somebody else other than just Kung Lao. So, Kenshi was kind of that Liu Kang for me in that game. Uh, as far as the story aspect, was pretty dope uh now his new iteration i don't like how they leave him out in mk11's part mkx he was well like his, his story was kind of like all over the place a little bit in my eyes because like one minute he helping johnny next minute he trying to hunt down the black dragon like so i'm like <laughs> or the red dragon like so like you feel me but uh yeah kenshi is a really dope character man i would love to see him and in, in shang Tsung fight off because if, if none of y'all remember from the past time 
um, that's the reason Kenshi became blind was because of Shang Tsung. Shang Tsung betrayed him and uh, made him go get that sword, which made him blind. Cost him his eyesight. Gave him magnific magnificent powers, but he became blind after that. Uh, Smoke. Really dope character. Dope ass design. Uh, my favorite iteration of Smoke has to be the new Smoke in uh, MK Deception. That was the first time that I, I had ever seen like a, a two-in-one type of character. So like that made it that much more interesting for me. Uh, how do I feel about him? Like his his human smoke, the human smoke is is like beyond godlike. <laughs> it's beyond godlike. Like real talk, bro. But uh, uh, Triborg Smoke was he was cool. He was cool, but like he he, he, he just he, he didn't feel like human smoke. You feel me? But I, I fuck with Smoke. Striker, I, I could give a rat's ass about Striker. I'm gonna be real with you. He a op, he the cops, he the feds. Fuck Striker. Now MK9, they kind of made him cool with some of his little counsels he had, as far as gameplay. But his story, I don't give a fuck about Striker. Fuck Striker. You feel me? He can kiss ass, kick rocks, Striker. I, I hope you don't ever come back to another MK. You feel me? Katana. Now, all right. So now, even though I hate Katana. In MKX, as far as like fighting against the bitch, I love Katana. Now, my thing with Katana is they always try to make her like under this mind controllable spell type shit. And pretty much every Mortal Kombat game that has happened like over recent years, up until hell, well, we could say she was in 11 because she still had that revenant part that was kind of somewhat mind control so like she's always had that story but uh they they made her story a lot better with her becoming con now i prefer mkx's katana's attitude over 11's because i don't know she just felt more like katana in mkx than than uh like her personality fit more in mkx than it did in mk11 like but uh, this goes hand to hand. All right, we got Shinnok. Shinnok. All right, so this is my take on Shinnok, right? Fallen Elder guy, really cool design. I like what they did with him. I like the approach they tried to take. But I felt like the delivery on, I felt like the delivery wasn't all the way there. And the reason why I want to say that is because in the story mode, all right, so like imagine this. You a person that never checked out a Mortal Kombat game or anything like that beforehand, right? And the main villain gets bodied at the beginning of the game, right? Like literally in the first, what, chapter, you beat Shinnok with Johnny Cage. So like right off the back, that kind of had me like, the fuck? <laughs> you feel me like? Like, this the main villain? Like, come on, bro. Like, nah. You don't do that. So, like, it kind of, like, for me personally, like, I, I don't... I don't like when they try to oversell, like, a person to be, like, as strong as somebody's supposed to be. But then, uh, you don't deliver... When, uh, like, like I'm expecting Thanos type shit. Like I ain't gonna lie. Like Thanos and and, and motherfucking Dark Side and all these other characters, like these demonic villainous ass, even Shao Kahn. These characters set it a prime example for for how bosses should be should be made. So like when I see a final boss. I need. I'm expecting a final boss. I, I, I honestly, I'm gonna be real. I didn't really expect that much out of uh, Shinnok. 
Then like when we saw Corrupt the Shinnok, I mean he got body as soon as we saw him. So like uh I mean he, he gained access to it like three or four new moves. That was the only thing and that shit just became like ten times more OP. So like I don't know, like I it, Shinnok is like a hit and miss for me. Noob Sabot. The original sub zero. You feel me? Now Noob side by now they, they did my boy wrong. I ain't gonna lie. Like he done got body. After he became noob, they just wouldn't let him beat nobody. It, that, that that's my only thing about noob. They won't let him beat nobody. You feel me? Like he became a jobber after he became noob, but like he's strong as fuck. That's what's crazy. He's strong as fuck. And like he was body and shit when he was like in his original Sub Zero form, y'all remember in mythologies he beat Fujin. He beat Scorpion at first. Hell, he beat Shinnok. So like, it was once again like. Hold on. So like uh. What else? We got Scarlet. Oh, no, no. We got Tremor. <sighs> Y'all know how I feel about Tremor. Now, y'all know how I feel about Tremor. Now, now, don't get me wrong. Tremor has a cool design. His story... It, 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 his story just not really all the way put together really it's not really all the way there hopefully they i will i would like for them to do something more with him in the future if you want me to be honest i would love for them to add like some real like deal character development to him and then i would be more inclined to like him more i mean his gameplay is pretty cool uh He's a rock ninja, earth earth ninja. So like, yeah, that's a, that's really cool about him. But uh, fuck Tremor. I'm just can't game. You feel me? Hold up. Uh, who else we got? We got Scarlet. Scarlet. Now, Scarlet. Scarlet. She. She fell off in this game, all right? And uh, MK11, like, her design, like, her uh, her cosmetics was cool as fuck. I really like the way, like, they made her face model look. Like, they made, like, her design look. Everything was cool about her. Her gameplay missed hard, bad. I ain't gonna lie. It was, it, it was a complete downgrade from the MK9 version of her. So like he kind of let down a lot of Scarlet fans in a sense that uh that was used to MK9 Scarlet, you know. You would think they'll start following the archetypes, but nah, they don't really follow the Scarlet archetype. So Scarlet is a really cool character. I hope they continue to bring her back. Uh, hopefully they make her more interesting in the next game. Let me use that word. Kano. Fucking bitch. I, I I don't like Kano, man. Kano Kano just born to me. I'm gonna be real. Nah, he, he just a person that don't give a fuck. You feel me? He, he, he do what he want. Take what he want. Don't give a fuck. He, he just that motherfucker that and it, but thing is once again he always gets his ass whooped in every movie game whatever and he always died by Sonya so I mean like what is there more for me to say motherfucking Sonya alright Sonya Blade the first female in Mortal Kombat history see Sonya is a is a special case because like She's cool because she's human and she's out here fighting these meta humans. 
with nothing but gadgets and shit. But that makes her bland for this type of game. In my in my eyes. I'm just speaking from my eyes. Any Sonya fans that's watching this, don't be mad. Like I said, I'm just giving you my thoughts, my opinions on this shit. Uh like I said, Sonya, she's 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 cool, but she's basic. I ain't gonna lie. She just your cookie cutter badass female that as that can kick ass, you feel me? So that's uh I think that's all the characters and uh let me know what y'all think about my opinion in uh in the comments and uh shit. I'll try to do more things like this in the future. Your boy just got off work, man. I'm tired as fuck. <laughs> but uh hope y'all have a good day.